A cry for social justice. Many saying tonight something needs to be done to address the black men and women being killed by senseless gun violence and at the hands of police. News 12 New Jersey's Naomi Yane is in Hillside tonight where a group is actually planning to raise awareness about these important issues, Naomi. Brittany, that's right. That'll be scheduled for tomorrow. Uh, today, Hillside leadership did plan on hosting a unity rally here at City Hall. However, the storm did uh, have caused that to be postponed, unfortunately. So that's been moved to tomorrow, 7.30, same time, the same place. However, we're also talking about another issue we've seen a rise in in the past year, and that's race-based uh, 911 calls. And in our state, it is, in fact, a crime, a third-degree crime, if you're caught. Maybe you've never heard of Assembly Bill A1906, but you've definitely heard the term Karen. In San Francisco, the acronym Karen, C-A-R-E-N, stands for Caution Against Racially Exploitive Non-Emergencies. Due to the many uh, harassed calls where, you know, people in picnic areas, uh, people sleeping in dormitories, uh, uh, we had the Starbucks incident in Philadelphia, and it's more or less that you're the kind of, uh, you know, false incrimination. Here at home, Assembly Bill A1906 has now been law for almost a year. Before that, we saw a rise in race-based 911 calls, several making national headlines. Uh, the young man was a bird watcher, and, uh, you know, the lady, uh, you know, walking the dog called the police on him. And here's somebody who, who you could see was very, very mild-mannered. Uh, had no threat at all to her at all. Assemblyman Wimberly is referring to an incident at Central Park between a black man and a white woman who falsely called the police on the man. The incident sparked a conversation about race in America. The assemblyman introduced the then legislation last year in hopes that it will give people cause before calling the police for non-emergencies. You know, I think people will think twice before making a false call, knowing that you know they could get, they could become you know a, a part of the criminal justice system by making a false call. The law is designed to criminalize false race-based 911 calls while protecting protected classes. Naomi, this is such an important conversation to have. Uh, what does the assemblyman say about how our state is handling social justice issues right now? So the assemblyman says, you know, he has seen some things go into law over the past year. However, as a state, really as a country, we're not moving fast enough. There's still so much work that needs to be done. But outside of just moving fast, he says we have to do it right.